Hello, and thanks for joining our conversation today on non-financial eligibility for Badger Care Plus. There are a couple requirements to determine if somebody's eligible. We're focusing today on the residency requirement. I'm Bryn McBride of ABC for Health, one of the partners on the Wisconsin Coverage Connections Project designed to help make sure that eligible children are connected to Badger Care Plus in Wisconsin. Now there's a lot of eligibility criteria for Badger Care Plus, both financial and non-financial. We're gonna focus our attention today just on that residency requirement. A person must be a Wisconsin resident to be eligible for Badger Care Plus, which means two things. You're physically present, you're here now, and you intend to reside. You're here and you plan to stay. That's the residency requirement in a nutshell. Now you can see how there might be some gray area along the way. So let's look at that a little bit closer. What does it mean to be physically present? Well, you're in the state and there's no minimum time limit on how long you've been here. You are just here right now. Individuals who are not Wisconsin residents and intend to move to Wisconsin have to actually be here with an address before they can apply for Badger Care Plus. Now, like any other rule, there are a few exceptions. The biggest one is someone that's just temporarily out of state. And you can think of college kids in this category. If there's a family that lives in Wisconsin and their oldest daughter is going to school in Minnesota, she's actually technically considered to be physically present in Wisconsin. She's only temporarily absent. So that's one exception to the rule. We give you the handbook section, the Badger Care Plus Eligibility Handbook, Chapter 3.5, that talks through a couple more of these absence exceptions to the physically present rule. So let's give an example. Let's say Cindy is a student from Wisconsin attending college in Michigan. Can she apply for Badger Care Plus as a Wisconsin resident? The answer is yes. She meets that exception for being absent temporarily from the state. What about Joe? Here's another example. Joe moved to Wisconsin this morning from Illinois. He intends to stay. Is he considered a Badger Care Plus eligible Wisconsin resident? Yes, he is. But let's change Joe's story a little bit in example three. Joe is in Illinois and he plans to move to Wisconsin next week. Is he considered physically present and for purposes of Badger Care Plus eligibility? No, not until he's actually here intend to reside. Just like the physically present criteria, the intend to reside criteria does not have a time limit. You are here now, your plan is to stay here, and that doesn't have to mean stay here permanently, it doesn't mean stay here indefinitely, it just means your initial intent is to keep staying in Wisconsin. That's where some people feel like they haven't been here long enough or they think that in a few years they might move out of state if a job takes them out of state. That's not what the rule is asking. They're asking if you're here now and at least for the foreseeable future, it is your plan to stay in Wisconsin. This is handled in handbook section 3.2, the intent to reside section. So if you visit that information button you see on your screen, you can read some of these handbook sections yourself. The handbook is a great tool for reading the way the rule is written and they give you a couple more examples and that's usually where we can parse out the detail is in some of those examples. Before we go, we do have a quick question. You can click on that pie chart icon you see on your screen and tell us a little bit more about how you understand the intent to reside and Badger Care Plus residency requirements. Thanks for joining us.